Hey everyone, welcome back to Ice Cream Meltdown. It's Mark and, and Evie. Yeah, and today we have a very unique flavor of ice cream for you. I actually went to the store looking for something Halloween themed and Eve is going to read the description of this ice cream and then think in your mind, what should this stuff look like? So Eve, go ahead and read that. It's toasted marshmallow ice cream with hot chocolate flavored swirls and candy bites. Okay, so that sounds pretty good to me. Um, it sounds like it might have like a off-white color, maybe some hot chocolate, you know, chocolate brown color, and then little candy bits. I don't know, maybe M&Ms or something in there. So this is actually what the ice cream looks like. It's purple with these bright color things in there. Um, I've been avoiding this one for a long time, actually. I go to buy these ice creams at uh, Kroger or Smith's. I go down the aisle, I'm usually looking for something good, but apparently this one keeps coming back in stock. It's there on the shelf, it's a regular. It must, there must be a fan base for it. Somebody's gotta like that if they're selling it there. It, to me it looks like the worst looking ice cream in the store. I actually wanted to find something special for Halloween and I went through the store, I walked up and down the aisle a couple of times. I couldn't find anything Halloween theme related at Kroger. So maybe it's out of stock. I didn't even find pumpkin ice cream. I saw a bunch of cereals that were like goblins and ghost things, donuts, Krispy Kreme, Halloween. Uh, but maybe this, is the, maybe this is the pick for Halloween. It's Dragon's Dream. So you want to give it a try? Okay. All right. What? Okay. I hope it tastes better than it looks. So how does it look? Like, does that look like anything you've ever tried before? Ice cream? That's bright purple. What do you think? Well, All right. I, I hope I, it tastes better than it looks. Okay, so I used to live in Hawaii and they had this stuff called poi. It's like a purple root vegetable and it looks a lot like that. So if you were to say this is like taro root or po poi ice cream, I could see that. But if you're like toasted marshmallow and hot chocolate, and it looks like this, I'm like totally baffled. I don't know what to think about this. So Eve's gonna take our first bite and uh, let's see how it goes. Mm. It kinda tastes like, it's kinda hard to explain. Does it taste like toasted marshmallow? It does actually. It really does taste like toasted marshmallow. If you, it's almost like you have to close your eyes. Okay. If you close your eyes, don't look at the purple. It does taste like toasted marshmallows, you know, when you burn the outside on a campfire. They must have like been cooking those and the essence got captured in here. Dragon's dream, so. It's actually better than I thought. What do you think? Like if you're say, go find the worst looking ice cream in the store, something you would give a two out of 10 or a one out of 10, I'd probably pick this one. There's also like a mermaid sparkle one that looks pretty bad. Um, I'm always overly generous on these videos when I'm trying it, so I'm trying not to do that right now. Sometimes these melt and they're like really bad. Hmm. So describe it for you, what are you tasting? Tell Wow, it's pretty interesting. It's got 190 calories for two thirds a cup, 21 grams of sugar. So actually less than some of the others. There's a bunch of artificial colors in here, obviously. Cellulose, natural flavor, $1.99. What are you gonna rate it, Eve? This is weird stuff, weird. The problem is, I don't want to give it like too high a score and then afterward I'm like, why didn't I give it? There's caramel in there, look, there's a little caramel. Did it say caramel? In there? No, it's supposed to be a hot chocolate hot swirl. Hot chocolate flavored swirls, oh. Looks like caramel. Look, even the hot chocolate flavored swirls, they didn't make brown like chocolate. 
like everything is going. It's almost like that Seinfeld episode where Kramer had the Kenny Rogers roasted chicken neon sign and his rods and cones were all messed up in his eye. And then he poured tomato juice in the cereal and he thought it was milk. That's kind of like what this is. It's like you're eating something that you don't think should be purple and orange and green. That tastes pretty good. You go first, Dean. I'm not gonna bias your score at all. Five out of ten. See that orange right there? That is supposed to be, that is the hot chocolate swirl. And it's orange. It kind of looks like caramel. It looks like caramel. They just tried to like do the opposite of whatever you think this stuff should look like. They're like, let's, it should be like a whitish cream color. Yeah, let's do the opposite. Let's just make it purple. Uh, what about the chocolate? Let's make it orange. How about other chocolate green, blue, like just go with the opposite. <laughs> I don't know, but it's not bad. I, I think I'm gonna, I'm so, it's better than I thought it would be. I'm gonna give it a five also. I don't know, I guess it's okay. I can definitely not say this is the best ice cream ever. If, I'll tell you what, Kroger makes some pretty good ice cream. If this was colored like I thought it, should be colored and looked natural, I'd probably give it a better score, like a six or maybe even a seven. It tastes good. It just like feels weird. It's almost like you're eating Play-Doh or something. Like it's just like, isn't it? I mean. Oh, it's kind of, it, it kind of looks like um, the licorice one. The licorice one, yeah. Well, that was dark. The black but... licorice one, that was like black. This is purple. I've never had an ice cream like this. Oh. I guess we're going with a five out of ten. This is uh, this is the Kroger Deluxe Dragon's Dream. Again, I was looking for Halloween flavored ice cream at the store. Couldn't find it. This was the closest thing that seemed kind of like Halloween with the dragon, the chocolate marshmallow, um, and it's different. But give it a try. I mean, try it. Don't try it. Whatever you want. It's your life your taste buds. This is Mark and Evie from Ice Cream Meltdown. Any last words for YouTube? Well, surprisingly, it did taste better than it looked. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I would not have said this is a 5 out of 10 before I bought it. I would have said it probably looks like a 2. To me, it looks like the worst one there, but we can be surprised. You never know. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.